Hi Aries, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Aries, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. Um, with that said, if you are a continued subby of mine, you know I love you for it. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So all of your cards this week are going to be influenced by the energy of the hanged man. Now I find this one really interesting right um especially because very often this card is asking you to slow down reassess take a moment take a beat uh, which kind of makes sense right the sun is now out of your sign and into the sign of taurus which is highlighting your second house by the way uh, especially for those of you that are an aries ascendant however the hanged man is really asking you to slow things down, to take a minute now. Now, when the sun was in your sign, you will have obviously been charging ahead, putting new things into practice, maybe even starting new things or going off in new directions. Well, the hanged man is basically saying to you, now that you've put certain plans into motion, now is the time for you to check them, right? If you've planted seeds in Aries season, this is the week where you would probably check, do they have enough water? Do they have enough sunlight? What do these things need in order to become the best that they can possibly be. It also suggests as well that this week you may catch yourself in the act of being either too self-sacrificing, which makes sense because Mars is moving into Cancer, um, you know, and it may also see you being a little bit more sensitive than you usually are. And this isn't a bad thing. Don't ever think that vulnerability is a bad thing, only if it's being taken advantage of and only you can really decide that. And this week it looks like you will be asking yourself that question, am I going above and beyond or am I being taken advantage of? I think you're gonna to have to ask yourself that on that really deeper level. For your actions and options this week, you have the Hermit card. So in all fairness, this week, my dear Aries, it is a lot of a slower week, and it might be a week where you feel like you need to withdraw. This could very well be a week where you decide that you need to recharge your batteries in some way, shape, or form. Never a bad thing as far as I'm concerned. I think in a lot of ways as well, the Hermit card is really asking you to do some soul searching. As especially because the hanged man is in close proximity. Both of these cards have a very spiritual element to them. And this is the time, even though in, well, certainly in the Northern hemisphere, we're coming into, you know, we're heading quite fast now towards summer. Um, but really the, the energy that I get from this is like, you know, in the winter when a plant sort of foliage dies off and it brings all of its energy into the roots so that it can regenerate itself and survive the winter. This is very much that kind of energy for you. So if you find that you are quieter this week, that you're a bit more subdued, it's not because there's anything wrong. This is because you are recharging your batteries, refueling yourself so that you can continue on tending your seeds, you know, putting whatever it is, uh, whatever energies it is into what you really think is going to be the best path for you. And it does look like you're really thinking about what that might look like this week. For your communications and conversations, you have the Queen of Swords. Look, very often this card shows us where we are prepared to fight for something, where we may need to fight for something, where we might need to really speak up or, you know, speak our, stand our ground in some way, shape or form, what you're ready to go to war for. Now, because it's right underneath the um, hanged man, this could be a week where you maybe you know there's something that you've been biting your tongue on for the longest time and this week it might be at that moment where you can no longer do it and you just have to say what needs to be said um one of the things that comes up here as well i feel like a lot of you may be making a final cut with a communication of some sort it could be a friend it could be a partner it could be a colleague um it's kind of like you're saying no you know what this has gone far enough and now i'm putting a stop to it for those of you that work for somebody else, um, if you are, it's kind of like one of those weeks where I don't really feel like you're gonna go to, I don't feel like you're gonna do the Aries thing and just be bold and brash, but if somebody steps on your toes this week, they are gonna get it with both barrels, it looks like. And good for you as well, especially if that person is in a position of authority. It kind of feels like maybe you've been taken advantage of when it comes to work, or maybe you've been taken for granted. And this week when your boss comes and says, oh, by the way, can you do this by such and such a time or date? 
you're just going to be like, no, actually, you know what? For weeks now, I've been doing dot dot dot. You're taking the, the you know, the proverbial. For your, uh, for those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, um, I think in a lot of ways, this is going to be you reassessing or re. Um, yeah, reassessing and re-evaluating your client base, but also your demographic. And it kind of feels like as well, maybe you are considering, you know what, I've got this one client that brings a lot of business, but actually they're way too demanding and I'm going to have to set them straight. Or I may be just prepared to let them go. Um, I think in a lot of ways, this is you really owning this whole professional sphere this week. Um, but it's it's in a very controlled way, right? That Anything that we do through the guise of the hermit is very subdued. It's, it's subdued, it's actioned, it's it's focused, it's determined, it's not like, you know, it's not like Aries, I'm, you know, and I love you guys. My mum is an Aries, I had two best friends that were Aries, like, I, I know Aries, I've got a cousin that's an Aries, a niece that's an Aries, I, I have a lot of Aries people in my life, but usually your energy isn't necessarily the most refined, whereas this week it looks like you're a lot more focused with it. So I, I like this for you, I actually think it can be really great for those of you that are business owners. For those of you that are uh, retired or no longer working for any reason. Um, well, look, when it comes to the familial ties, you know, the people that we are attached to through blood, through marriage, all the rest of it, I think this week you could be standing up for somebody or you could speaking, be speaking up on somebody else's behalf. Um, but again, it's in a very controlled, sort of concise way. For your money and materials, you have the two of pentacles. This bodes very well for your money. The two of pentacles is a great card for finance because it usually talks about expansion and growth. But this is a week where you are going to have to be somewhat thrifty you are going to have to think about what is a priority and what is a luxury and by getting those two things under control as you see them I think you're going to be able to really start to forge a path forward when it comes to your money so pay attention to some of the conversations that come up to do with work etc one of the reasons is especially for those of you business owners and stuff it could be like I said that this week you say right okay well you know what I'm willing to forego this client so that I can focus more on building or whatever um, for your uh, physical health and vitality this is going to be your um, uh, this is going to be your bones your knees and uh, possibly even your teeth this week as well so keep an eye out for that when it comes to your home and environment well look this is going to see a lot of you maybe even chucking stuff out this could be a week where you say you know what I've got too much clutter there's too much stuff in the home like this could be a really good week for you chucking things out maybe giving stuff to charity definitely possible I think this would be a really great week to declutter and get rid of anything that you don't need or anything that's just taking up unnecessary space. For your love and relations, you have the Ten of Wands. So for those of you that are in currently shaky relationships, this could be a week where... Um, and there is no in between, I'm sorry to say, right? It's the 10 of wands. So it's gonna be the week where either you and your partner come to that agreement and you fix it, or you and your partner come to that agreement and you forget it and you kind of go your separate ways. There's no in between with this card, especially with the other cards that are present. Um, so if you're in a relationship and it is on shaky ground, this is gonna be the, the deciding week for a lot of you, especially given the fact that we have the full moon right out of the gate on uh, the 26th or the 27th, depending on where you are so that's going to be a, a big deciding point for you um, and remember your ruler Mars is also the ancient ruler of Scorpio so technically this moon is under the influence of Mars which in the sign of cancer is not in a good position anyway so very very interesting for those of you that are single um, look, to be honest with you, this week is very, very self-focused, very, very self-directed. And I think in a lot of ways, there's a sense of self-perfection that is coming in this week. It's like you're focusing on yourself so that you can really smooth off your own edges and really think about what the path forward looks like for you and uh, ultimately what you can put into it. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up or don't. I mean, you know, it looks like it's going to be a quiet week for you guys anyway, but have a great week nonetheless. Take care and I'll see you soon.